Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Lord, my God, you are magnified exceedingly. You who clothe yourself with thanksgiving and majesty, who cover yourself with light as with a garment, who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You are he who covers his upper chambers with water, who makes the clouds his means of approach, who walks on the wings of the winds, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He established the earth on its stable foundation. It shall not be moved unto ages of ages. The deep like a garment is his covering. The water shall stand upon the mountains, at your rebuke they shall flee at the sound of your thunder, they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down to the place you founded for them. You set a boundary they shall not pass over, neither shall they return to cover the earth. You are he who sends springs into the valley. The waters shall pass between the mountains, they shall give drink to all the wild animals of the field. The wild asses shall quench their thirst, the birds of heaven shall dwell beside them. They shall sing from the midst of the rocks. You are he who waters the mountains from his higher places. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruits of your works. You are he who causes grass to grow for the cattle and the green plant for the service of men. To bring forth bread from the earth and wine gladdens the heart of man. To brighten his face with oil and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of fruit. The cedars of Lebanon which you planted, there the sparrows shall make their nests. The house of the heron takes the lead among them. The high mountains are for the deer. The cliff is a refuge for the rabbits. He made the moon for seasons. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness, and it was night, wherein all the wild animals of the forest will prowl about. The young lions roar and snatch their prey and seek their food from God. The sun arises, and they are gathered together, and they shall be put to bed in their dens. Man shall go out to his work and to his labor until evening. O Lord, your works shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. The earth was filled with your creation. There is this great and spacious sea. The creeping things are there without number. The living things are there, both small and great. There the ships pass through. There is this dragon you formed to play therein. All things wait upon you that you may give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they shall die and return again to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I exist. May my words be pleasing to him, and I shall be glad in the Lord. May sinners cease from the earth and the lawless so as to be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness and it was night. O Lord, your works shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it, with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. 
through the holy and great church of Christ for this holy metropolis, this parish and city for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. To the Lord in my affliction I cried out, and he heard me. O Lord, deliver my soul from my just lips, from a deceitful tongue. What should be given you, and what added to you, against a deceitful tongue? The arrows of the mighty one are sharpened with hot coals from the desert. Woe is me, my sojourning was prolonged. I dwelt with, it, with the tents of Kadar. My soul sojourned a long time as a res resident alien. For those who hate peace, I was peaceful. When I spoke to them, they made war against me without cause. I lifted my eyes to the mountains, from whence shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let not your foot be moved, neither let him who keeps you slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep you. The Lord is your shelter at your right hand. The sun shall not burn you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. The Lord shall keep your soul. The Lord shall keep your coming in and your going out from this present time and into the ages. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet stand in your courts, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city whose compactness is complete. There the tribes went up, the tribes of the Lord, a testimony to Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For thrones sat there for judgment, thrones over the house of David. Ask now for things regarding the peace of Jerusalem, and there is prosperity for those who love you. Let there now be peace in your power and prosperity in your citadels. For the sake of my brothers and my neighbors, I indeed spoke peace concerning you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I saw good things for you. I lift my eyes to you, who dwell in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters, as the eyes of the maidservant looks to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he shall have mercy, have compassion on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. We are greatly filled with contempt. Our soul is greatly filled with it. We are a disgrace to those who prosper in a contempt for the arrogant. If the Lord had not been with us, with us, let Israel now say, If the Lord had not been with us, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their anger raged against us, then the water would have drowned us. Our soul would have passed through a torrent. Then our soul would have passed through a water that is overwhelming. Blessed is the Lord who did not give us as prey to their teeth. Our soul was delivered like a sparrow from the snare of the hunters. The snare was broken and we were delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and Ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another 
and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours is the dominion and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. He who dwells in Jerusalem shall be unshaken forever. The mountains surround her and the Lord surrounds his people from this present time and unto the ages. The Lord will not permit the rod of sinners to be upon the inheritance of the righteous, lest the righteous stretch out their hands in lawlessness. Do good, O Lord, to the good and to the upright in heart, but those who turn aside to the crooked ways, the Lord shall lead away with the workers of lawlessness. Peace be upon Israel. When the Lord returned the captives of Zion, we became like those who are comforted. Then our mouth was filled with joy and our tongue with exceeding joy. Then they shall say among the Gentiles, the Lord did great things with them. The Lord has done great things with us. We were glad. Return, O Lord, our captivity like streams in the south. Those who sow with tears shall reap with exceeding joy. They went forth and wept, carrying their seeds with them, but they shall return with exceeding joy, carrying their sheaves. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord guard the city, those who guard it stay awake in vain. It is in vain for you to rise early to awaken from your rest, you who eat the bread of grief when he gives his beloved ones sleep. Behold, children are the Lord's inheritance, the fruit of the womb his reward. Like arrows in the hand of a mighty one, so are the children of those who are outcasts. Blessed is the man who shall fulfill his desire with them. They shall not be ashamed when they speak to their enemies at the gate. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruits of your labor. You are blessed. It shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a vine prospering on the sides of your house. Your children like newly planted olive trees around your table. Behold, so shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the good things of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Many times they warred against me from my youth. Let Israel now say, many times they warred against me from my youth, yet they did not overcome me. The sinners schemed behind my back. They prolonged their lawlessness. The righteous Lord cut in pieces the necks of sinners. Let all who hate Zion be shamed and turn back. Let them become like grass on the housetops, which withers before it is plucked up, like grass with which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor the gatherer of sheaths his bosom. Neither do those who pass by say to them, The Lord's blessing be upon you. In the Lord's name we bless you. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, that the Toko Holy of the Virgin may be the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life, Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we offer glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, should mark transgression, O Lord, who would stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Because of your law, O Lord, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul hopes in the Lord. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his transgressions. O Lord, my heart is not exalted, neither are my eyes raised up, neither am I carried along in great things, nor in things too marvelous for me. If I were not humble-minded, but exalted my soul, like a child weaned from his mother, so you would reward my soul. Let Israel hope in the Lord from this present time and unto the ages. Remember David, O Lord, and all his meekness, how he swore to the Lord, how he vowed to the God of Jacob, I shall not enter my dwelling, I shall not recline on my bed, I shall not close my eyes in sleep, nor my eyelids for dozing, nor give any rest to my temples, until I find a place for the Lord, a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. Behold, we heard it in Ephrata, we found it in the plains of the wood, 
Let us enter into his tabernacles. Let us worship at the place where his feet stood. Arise, O Lord, into your rest, you and the ark of your holiness. Your priests shall clothe themselves in righteousness. Your saints shall greatly rejoice. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away from the face of your anointed. The Lord swore to David this truth, and he shall not reject it. I shall set upon your throne one from the fruit of your loins. If your sons keep my covenant and these testimonies, I shall teach them. Then their sons shall sit upon your thrones forever. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has chosen her for his dwelling. This is my place of rest unto the ages of ages. Here I shall dwell, for I have chosen her. Blessing, I shall bless her provision. I shall satisfy her poor with bread, and I shall clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall rejoice exceedingly with great joy. There I shall cause to spring up a horn for David. There I prepared a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I shall clothe with shame. Upon him shall my sanctification flourish. Behold now what is so good or so pleasant as for brothers to dwell together in unity. It is like fragrant oil running down upon the beard, the beard of Aaron running down upon the border of his garment. It is like the dew of Hermon running down upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing and life forever. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God. In the nights, lift up your hands to the Holy of Holies and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. 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 I hope, O Lord, glory to you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are our God, a God who shows mercy and saves, and to you we offer up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
look down and pass by on the supplication before him, I shall declare my affliction in his presence. Of the, if there be virtue and if there be praise, it is fitting for the martyrs, for they bow their necks to the broad sword for you who bowed the heavens and descended. They spilled their blood for you who emptied yourself and took the form of a servant. And they let themselves be humbled even unto death. In imitation of your poverty, so according to the multitude of your tender mercies, through them, through their prayers, O oh God, have mercy on us. <clears throat> when my spirit fainted within me, then you knew my past. Lord, your apostles and most sacred disciples were shown to be rational heavens, hearing their divine intercessions. Free me from the evils of the earth, I pray you now exalt my thoughts each day through Lent in abstinence to understand of your passion as you are merciful and love mankind. For on the way I was going, they hid a trap for me. <clears throat> Let us all have a time of Lent and of fasting cooperate with our godly deeds. Let us cry aloud to our Savior praying fervently and shedding tears. Mm -hmm. O oh, very merciful Lord, through your disciples, pray for us. Save us forever and the honor your immeasurable love. and saw there was no one who knew me. Apostles extolled by all intercessors for the world 
physicians of the sick and the guardians of health. Preserve us in soul and body as we gallop through the time of Lent. Keep us at peace with one another as our God commands and preserve our minds untroubled by the passions so that we may all sing a hymn of praise to Christ, the victor who rose from the dead. Wisdom, let it be attentive. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am your God. Be pleasing before me and blameless. I will establish my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. Then Abram fell on his face and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. 
No longer shall your name be called Abraham, but your name shall be called be Abraham, for I made you a father of many nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your seed after you and their generations, for an everlasting covenant to be your God and the God of your seed after you. Also, I will give you and your seed after you the land you are occupying as a sojourner, all the land of Canaan as an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. Then God said to Abraham, as for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your seed after you throughout the generations. Procamenon Mod Plagal Second. Psalm 95. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Command wisdom arise. The light of Christ illumines all. The reading is from the Proverbs of Solomon. Wisdom must be attentive. A wise son gladdens a father, but a son without discernment treats his mother with contempt. The path of one without understanding or in need of discernment, but a man with discernment walks uprightly. Those not honoring counsels defer their deliberations. The counsel remains in the hearts of those who resolve to do it. The evil man will not obey counsel, nor will he speak anything appropriate, even something for the common good. The thoughts of a wise man are his ways of life, that he might turn aside and be saved from Hades. The Lord will destroy the houses of the arrogant, but he will strengthen the boundary of a widow. The thinking of the unrighteous man is an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the holy are sacred. He who receives bribes utterly destroys himself, but he who hates the receiving of bribes saves himself. Sins are cleansed by almsgiving and faithfulness, and by the fear of the Lord everyone turns aside from evil. The hearts of the righteous care about faithfulness, but the mouth of the ungodly answers evil things. The ways of the righteous man are acceptable before the Lord, and through them even enemies become friends. God is far from the ungodly, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. The eye that beholds good things gladdens the heart, but a good report enriches the bones. He who rejects instruction hates himself, but he who gives heed to reproofs loves his soul. The fear of God is instruction and wisdom, and the beginning of glory will respond to it. All the works of the humble are evident before the Lord, but the ungodly will be destroyed in the evil day. Every high-hearted man is unclean before the Lord, and he who joins hands with the unrighteous will not go unpunished. The beginning of a good way is to do righteous things, and this is more acceptable to God than to offer sacrifices. He who seeks the Lord will find knowledge with righteousness, and those who seek him rightly will find peace. All the works of the Lord are with righteousness, but the ungodly man is kept for an evil day. Better is a small yield with the righteous than abundant fruit with the unrighteous. Let the heart of a man think righteous things, that he may make his steps straight under God. Peace be with you who read. And with your spirit. Let my prayer be set before you as incense the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Lord, I have cried to you, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I have cried to you, hear me. Give heed to the voice of my supplication when I cry to you. Before my mouth, a door of enclosure about my lips. Don't hear on me. 
not my heart to evil words to make excuses and sins. Let my prayer be set forth before you as it incends the to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages of ages. Amen. Let my prayer be set forth before you, as in sense the lifting My prayer be set forth before you as in the lifting up of my hands as the Let us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord of mercy, Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Archbishop Alexios. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord our God, accept this fervent supplication from your servants and have mercy on us in accordance to the abundance of your mercy and send down your compassion upon us and upon all your people who await your great and rich mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we offer glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Catechumens, pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray, the faithful pray for the catechumens. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord will have mercy on them. Lord have mercy, that he will teach them the word of truth. Lord have mercy, that he will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Lord have mercy, that he will unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord have mercy, save them, have mercy on them, help them. And protect them, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Catechumens, bow your heads to the Lord. To you, o Lord. O God, our God, the creator of all, you wish all to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. Look upon your servants, the catechumens, and free them from the old error and the devices of the adversary, and call them to life eternal, illumining their souls and bodies and numbering them among your rational flock, over whom your holy name is invoked so that with us they may glorify your most honorable and majestic name, 
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those who are catechumens depart, catechumens depart. All who are ready for illumination come forward. Pray, all of you who are prayer preparing for illumination, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us, the faithful, pray to the Lord for our brethren who are preparing for holy illumination and for their salvation. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord our God will establish and strengthen them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he illumine them with the light of knowledge and piety. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that he may make them worthy in due time of the baptism of re regeneration, the remission of sins, the robe of incorruption. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that he may regenerate them with water and the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that he may grant them the perfection of faith, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy, that he may number them among his holy and chosen flock. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy, those who are preparing for illumination, bow your heads to the Lord, to you, O Lord. Master, shine your face on those who are preparing for holy illumination, who strongly desire to shake off the defilement of sin. Clear their mind, confirm them in faith, strengthen them in hope perfect them in love, make them precious members of your Christ who gave himself as a ransom for our souls. For you are our illumination, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All who are ready for illumination depart. You who are ready for illumination depart. All those who are catechumens depart. Let none of the catechumens remain. Again and again in peace, let all of us, the faithful, pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace, Lord, wisdom. Lord, have mercy. O God, great and praiseworthy, who through the life-giving death of your Christ brought us from corruption to incorruption, set free all of our senses from deadly passions, setting over them as a good guide the understanding that is within us. Let our eyes abstain from evil sights, our hearing from idle talk, our tongue cleansed from unsuitable speech. Purify our lips that sing your praises, O Lord. Let our hands abstain from evil acts and produce only works that are pleasing to you, safeguarding by your grace all of our limbs and mind. For you, to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace, wisdom. Holy and exceedingly good Master, we beseech you who are rich in mercy, be gracious with us sinners, make us worthy of receiving your only begotten Son and our God, the King of glory. For behold, his most pure body and life-giving blood entering at this hour are to be placed upon this mystical table, invisibly escorted by a multitude of unseen heavenly hosts. Grant that we may blamelessly partake of them, so that having been illumined by them, we may become children of the light and of the day. <clears throat> Through the gift of your Christ, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen.
perfect sacrifice is coming forth. Let us come forward with faith and desire that we may become partakers of eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us now, the powers of heaven, invisibly worshiping with us. Behold, the King of glory enters in. Behold, the mystical and perfect sacrifice coming forth. Let us come forward with faith and desire that we may become partakers of eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Now the powers of heaven are invisibly worshiping with us, for behold, the King of glory enters in. Behold, a mystical and perfect sacrifice is coming forth. Let us come forward with faith and desire that we may become partakers of eternal life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Forgive me, my brother priest, and Solomon. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ, help us save us. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, Mercy on us and save us. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, mercy on us and save us. We have come to an iron pathetic name on Kirge Isu Christeo Theos, a lace on Kessos on us. Prayers of our Holy Father, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. <clears throat> prayers of our Holy Father, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Behold the accomplishment
us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious and pre-sanctified gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord, Grant us, o Lord for an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord, us, o Lord for pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask the Lord, us, o Lord for that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world. Let us ask the Lord. Grant us, o Lord that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. This, o Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Oh, yeah. O God of ineff ineffable and unseen mysteries, with whom are the hidden treasures of wisdom and knowledge, you have revealed to us the service of this liturgy by your great compassion and have ordained that we sinners should offer to you gifts and sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of the people. You, O invisible King, whose works are great and wondrous, glorious and marvelous, and without number, look upon us who draw near to your holy altar as the throne of the cherubim, upon which rests your only begotten Son and our God through the awesome mysteries offered here. And when you have freed us from your, from your faithful people from all impurities, sanctify our souls and bodies with a sanctification not to be taken away, so that with clear conscience and presence without shame and enlightened heart, we may participate in these divine sacraments. Through them, we are given life that we may be united to your Christ, our true God, who said, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides within me and I in him so that with your word, O Lord, abiding in us and walking among us, we may become temples of your all-holy and worshipful spirit, having been freed from every diabolical device working by deeds or words or thoughts. Thus shall we obtain the blessing you have promised us, together with all your saints who from all the ages have pleased you. And grant us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, who only are good and compassionate, who dwell on high and who look upon the lowly, look with a compassionate eye upon all your people and watch over them. Make us all worthy to partake of these, your life-giving mysteries without blame, for it is before you that we have bowed our heads and in the hope of your abundant mercy. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father on high, and are present among us and visibly here. And with your mighty hand grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. Let us be attentive, proscomen, the holy gifts, for the pre-sanctified gifts, 
for the holy people of God. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe and I confess, O Lord, that you are truly the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and in deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. Behold, I approach for holy communion, O Creator. Burn me not as I partake, for you are fire which burns the unworthy. Wherefore do you cleanse me from every stain? Tremble, O mortal, beholding the divine blood, for it is to the unworthy as a live coal. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me, deifies my spirit, soul, and wondrously nourishes my mind. How shall I, the unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, O Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but let them be for the cleansing and sanctification of my soul and body, and for the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and with your divine love have you changed me. But do you burn away with spiritual fire my sins and make me worthy to be filled with the joy of you, that rejoicing in your goodness I may magnify both your advents. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief will I confess to you, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Taste and see, taste and see that the Lord, the Lord is Thank you. 
In the fear of God and with faith and love draw near.
of your mystical supper I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas like the thief will I confess to you Lord remember me when you come into your kingdom Master remember me when you come into your kingdom O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Taste the heavenly bread and the cup of life and see that the Lord is good. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Taste the heavenly bread and the cup of life and see. the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Taste the heavenly bread and the cup of life and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, Lord, that we may sing of your glory. You have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your holiness, that all the day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. We have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. We thank you, O God, Savior of us all. 
for all the good things that you have given us and for the communion of your holy body and blood of your Christ. And we pray to you, loving Master, protect us under the covering of your wings and grant that we may worthily partake of your blessings at the end of our days through the illumination of our soul and body to inherit the kingdom of heaven. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Master, you created the universe in wisdom. By your ineffable forethought and great goodness, you led us to these sacred days for the cleansing of souls and bodies, for the subduing of passions, for the hope of the resurrection. For 40 days, you shaped the tablets with godlike characters for your servant Moses. Grant also to us, good Lord, to fight the good fight, to finish the course of the fast, to keep the faith whole, to shatter the heads of unseen dragons, to show ourselves victorious over sin, and to arrive blamelessly without condemnation, to worship, worship also at your holy resurrection. For blessed and glorified is your honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth into the ages. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and to the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. May the blessing and the mercy of the Lord come upon you by his divine grace and love for mankind always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praise with the apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and merciful and loves mankind. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall be praised in the Lord. Let the gentle hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my sojourning. Come to him and be enlightened and your face shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him from all his afflictions. The angel of the Lord shall encamp around those who fear him and he will deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no want for those who fear him. Rich men turn poor and went hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Those who have not received communion this evening, please come forward for uh, the, uh, uh, the blessing of blessed bread and have a blessed evening. Please meet us next door. Immediately follow this liturgy uh, for our program tonight, which is uh, being led by Father Michael, I believe. So have a blessed evening. A blessing the Lord. Who is the man who desires life, who loves to see good days? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Shun evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their supplications. The Lord's face is against those who do evil so as to destroy their remembrance from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them from all their afflictions. The Lord is near those who are brokenhearted, and he will save the humble in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he will deliver them from them all. The Lord shall guard their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and those who hate the righteous shall go wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and all who hope in him shall not go wrong.
For the what? Okay. 